Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies. This is a Scott Apex. It's a thumb release aid. It's going to be expensive. Let's just say that. There's a whole bunch of thumb release aids on the market and most are very, very good. From a whole bunch of companies and some cheaper ones as well. So this is at the top end. Now, one of my friends um, was telling me about Scott and I've been buying Scott for years, but he said it's one of the few companies that has complete internal American components. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But that's what he told me and that's why he was buying one. Now, the reason he was buying one is because one of the pro shooters said it's going to be the most reliable thumb release aid. Whether it is or isn't, I don't know. But there's so many thumb release aids on the market, so many different companies, and the price points are all pretty much the same. So you've got to pick one that you like and one that you like the feel of, one that you think is going to be dependable. So this is the Scott. So this finger is adjustable, backwards and forwards. Some will have, so it's a three finger, some will have a, the ability to make four finger, this obviously doesn't. Um, it feels heavy, it feels like a brass release aid. So the cocking, cocking mechanism, you press this and then you've got to you push this. Oh, okay. So you push that and it locks that. Activate it, this is on a spring system now. So you've got this gap. Um, now, Stan have got a little string saver in there. So basically you can put your release aid on and do stuff. I had one person who pulled it back sort of the wrong way and it slipped out. And I've done a video on that. So there's a gap there to make it, meant to make it easier to adjust. The trigger mechanism or the thumb mechanism is very much like a Stan Olszewski. The post very much like a Stanislavski, so you can change the angle left and right. There'll be a screw thing in there. Um, you can change the angle of it. You can change the tension through there, moving it in. Um, I can't remember. It should increase the tension, moving it out, decrease the tension. Um, travel. Travel would be this one. It obviously comes in different sizes because there's an L there. Um, this is my hand. I'd say, I'd say I've got about a medium sized hand. Um, the trigger feels crisp. It's pretty quiet. All right, let's have a shot and see how it feels. Now this is uh, the Boehm Shinin's Elite Envision. I haven't shot it for many, many months. So this will be my first time drawing back this bow in, oh, at least seven months. So it's got a D-loop. Now when you try new release aids, be really close to the target because if something goes wrong, you want to be really close. Right, so cock it, set, so that's easy to load, really, really easy. I was watching one of the kids, kids shooting at the World Championships in Limerick and he was fiddling with his release aid, he only had a couple of seconds to shoot. He drew it back. Um, the bow and the arrow wasn't on the bow and he basically dry fired his bow and lucky he didn't hurt himself badly and lucky the arrow didn't break um, but this is very easy to load like as easy as anything Whoa. Now the trigger for me, so that's it there. I'd probably like it angled because it doesn't, I feel like I want it in closer. So I'd probably change the position of this trigger for me. The trigger felt really, really nice. I'm gonna say as easy to load as any other trigger on the market because with this, with the Trouble Blade, which is one of the top release aids, when you press it, if it's near the D loop, it won't close, and that causes some people some issues. Um, and some of them are just like you've got to like move this across. This is easy because it's self cocking. Um, so cock it, ready to shoot. Okay, so my summary of it, 
I really like the way it loads. I'm comfortable with the size. Some the the head positions closer to your fingers. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm not that finicky about that sort of stuff. But this will be a little bit longer. So Carter releases have different lengths in these. Um, so does Trueball. Um, it's got a nice amount of weight in it. I like the way it feels. I like the way it triggers. I'd like to change the position of this peg to make it feel comfortable. As far as thumb releases, um, and I've shot all the thumb releases on the market, um, this is clearly as good as anything else on the market, so let's just start there. Um, the thumb position straight out of the packet, it's not as comfortable as some straight out of the packet. I'm going to say I prefer the, I'm going to say I prefer most of the others straight out of the packet than this one where it's actually currently where it's currently sitting. I like them sort of in closer, so I'm like more like that, so my hands more closed. But overall, quality wise, um, quality wise, if it's as good as they say it is, um, it will be good. So on the point of quality wise and releases failing, the way these releases work is they work on a sear mechanism. So there's two bits of metal and they're pushed, pushing up against one another. Um, and when you set them very fine, it's just sitting on a, on an edge. And as you pull it back, you're pulling back 60 pounds. And that, if that edge gives way, then the release aid will fail. And you will see that happen at many world championships. It could fail because there's moisture in the release aid. It could be it could fail because there's dirt in the release aid. Um, I've had a number of failures recently with releases of all brands. Um, where I'm going to say in my first 30 years of selling archery gear, it was almost rare that you'd have a release aid fail. And I'd say I've had more release aids, and I'm talking top end, top end release aids fail in the last year than the previous 30 odd years of selling archery gear. That's how much the top end releases are failing compared to all the years before. Now you could say it's because they're running them a lot hotter. Um, it could be the internal components are not as good. It could be the internal springs aren't as good. I don't know. Anyway, one of the pros said this is like one of the most durable and longest lasting, whether that's true or not, I don't know. I have not had any of these replaced. Um, I can only ever remember one Scott release a thumb being replaced um, and I don't think it would load or it would fire under a certain at a certain tension and Scott just replaced it I can only ever remember one and that was about three years ago um, anyway that's the Scott Apex look I'm more than happy with it it's comfortable in my hand the design it starts off thick here and the this finger and that's slimming down so it starts off fat slims down I find that really comfortable I shoot a Scott Ascent I'm not plugging Scott here I just this design is more than common um, in the marketplace um, and this is a very comfortable release aid to shoot and to feel I just think I'd like to change the angle on that thumb here and change the angle down so it's more it's more comfortable now you can fit you can fit this this Scott um, pegs on this you can fit your ultra view stuff on this um, so if you don't like that thumb peg but overall really nice release aid Scott's a really good company if you have a problem I've had a problem I think once or twice and they just fix it um, so I don't even think I have to return it. I think they just sent me a new one. So with the other release aid companies, you've generally got to return them um, at your cost, and then you then they send you another one. And I think the return cost is either at your cost or their cost, depending on the fault. So just bear that in mind. So that's the Scott Apex, really, really good. Nice weight, looks good. I'm guessing it's not brass, I'm guessing it's a stainless, but it's very, very nicely finished. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Thanks for watching.